in achievements. That's the Japanese version. I don't have another... Welcome back to episode 3 of Retro Achievements. Today we are playing Sailor Moon with 13 achievements. Let's do this. With these achievements, we can get all of them in one playthrough while playing on hard. Alright, I think that's all good. One. So let's finish the game on hard difficulty. Let's just clear every area and defeat the final boss. So we shall see how we go. So I picked Sailor Mars, I'm pretty sure it's Sailor Mars, for her stun lock ability. I'm not sure if the other characters do the same, but it's worth it with some of these enemies. I am not good at fighting games, so this is going to be very interesting. So when playing on hard, you'll unlock a different kind of ending if you beat the bonus boss. And to get the true final boss, you must play on hard. So I'll give you a rundown of the story, since all the achievements besides two are just clear area stages. So the story goes, A thousand years ago, there was a place called the Moon Kingdom, where a silver millennium existed. It was a very peaceful time full of happiness and lack of danger. The Moon Kingdom was under the rule of Queen Serenity. Queen Serenity had a daughter named Princess Serenity. One day the princess met a prince from Earth named Endymion, and the two fell in love. They were soon to marry, but suddenly there was a massive attack on the Moon Kingdom by the evil queen named Beryl. The peace was utterly shattered by Beryl and her minions, and the Moon Kingdom was forever destroyed. Queen Serenity had managed to defeat Queen Beryl and her troops by using the full extent of the Gen Shui. By doing so, the Queen was dying. With little energy left, Queen Serenity used her Gen Sui Su once more to send Prince Serenity, Prince Endymion and Sailor Sensi and everyone else to the 20th century, a time where peace will be restored. But with Queen Beryl and her minions still alive, the Sailor Sensus are called forth by guardian cats named Luna and Artemis, and it's up to them to defend Earth from evil Zoas. So there's the game story. We achieve I Am Sailor Moon by clearing 1-1, and now we ride the elevator to the top to fight our first boss. Nice. We also get Venus Love Me Chain for clearing the elevator. So Super Goon is a very easy boss. Super Goon has three moves, a punch attack, a rushing punch, and a smoke attack. Once defeated, we'll get our next achievement, Moon Prism Power. Pressing it too much. Moon Prism Power. Next we arrive at the carnival, where we make our way through and receive the Mars Fire Ignite achievement. We also meet one of the worst enemies in the game, the clown. Then we enter a building with giant sized sweets and more enemies to battle through to the boss. Also we've picked up the fan and this fan slaps. After we finish with the trucks, we get the I Love Tuna Fish achievement. Oh 
Grounded to the worst. Here we meet Jadeite. Jadeite's attacks are kicks, jump kicks, and torpedo style tackle. Once defeated, we receive the Mercury Bubble Blast achievement and on to the next area. It doesn't matter. Mercury Bubble Blast. And somehow we're just like magically on trucks. What are we doing on here? Next we ride on two moving trucks heading to our next destination. It's kind of tricky when the enemies can go from in front of you to off screen and then behind you. Pesky clowns are back. After we finish with the trucks, we get the I Love Tuna Fish achievement and move on into the building. Here we make our way through to the boss, Nethrite. So this is Nethrite. Nethrite's attacks are punches, a dashing punch, and kick attacks. After being Nethrite, the Jupiter Star achievement will be ours and on to stage four. So close. So in stage four, I lost my final life about three quarters of the way through the stage. So we had to restart the stage all again. But since we have seven continues, it's no big deal. Once at the top of the stage, we meet Zoilite, and he turns into a fake Sailor Moon. Again, most of these fights are easy when you can get them in a stun lock. Wait, 
Vai isso ela mesmo. Once Oilite is defeated, the Fire and Passion achievement is achieved, and we head into the caves. Oh, extra life, straight up. That's not good. Oh, I mean, there are. Don't need that yet. Throughout this stage, they like to throw many enemies at you. Do your best you can to defeat them and get to the next area. Heading through the cave, we come to our next boss, Kanzai. Kanzai fires boomerang projectiles at you and performs punches and has a very agile jump kick. Freeze man coming. Produce some more health. We just got that. Once defeated, the Water and Wisdom achievement is achieved and we can head towards the final stage. So we enter the final stage where we'll be getting our last four achievements. Sailor V, Flower Hurricane, Sailor Sensi, and Queen Metalia. I don't know what that puts us on the achievement list. This stage is broken up into three parts, and then once you defeat the final bosses, you get the extra boss at the end for playing on hard. Oh, that put me off. That guy just flying off just put me off so bad that. Extra life! Oh. oh my god. 
that hard game. So here are the bosses. Firstly, Prince Endemon and Queen Beryl. A big sword, my friend. The prince has been brainwashed and is really no threat in this fight. The hardest of the two is Queen Beryl. I got super lucky to get the stun lock right away because she has a lightning attack that lasts forever and follows you around the screen. And it's very hard to get damage while she has the lightning going. And in the background, Queen Metallia is waiting for us. She has a lot of hearts, I know that. No match for our stunning ability though. Take that! For our final fight and achievement, Queen Metallia. All we have to do is jump kick until defeated and dodge some of the orbs that are shot out. Having more than three lives here should do the trick. Well, I'm glad we got a lot of lives because these orbs suck. Italia. Well, there we go. 53 minutes. All achievements. That was a quick one. That was pretty straightforward, that one. That was just a run through, pretty much, from start to finish. So that's all 13 achievements for Sailor Moon. If you haven't checked out my other episodes, go do so. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more retro achievements. I couldn't tell you what they're saying right now, but... Bad little game. And I am not one for fighting games, I'm no good at them, so for us to do that, I'm not gonna play. But all achievements gone. There's no way to speed up credits. Alright, I'm gonna get something to drink. We'll be back and we'll uh, do another game. Put another one on board, a very easy one, so knock out two for tonight. Probably call it there, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, get a drink, I'll be back. <laughs>